Magnets are weird, right? They can pull objects without touching them, and they always seem to know which side to push or pull. But how do magnets actually work? Why do opposite poles attract and like poles repel? Here is what physicist Richard Feynman had to say about magnets. But you're not at all disturbed by the fact that when you put your hand on the chair, it pushes you back. But we found out by looking at it that that's the same force as a matter of fact. The situation you then have to explain is why in magnets it goes over a bigger distance than it ordinarily. And there it has to do with the fact that in iron, all the electrons are spinning in the same direction. They all get lined up and they magnify the effect of the force until it's large enough at a distance that you can feel it. Therefore, magnet is a special material in which all the atoms are aligned. Whereas in most materials, the atoms are spinning in random directions. Because of strong alignment, magnets create a force field around them. Now here's the key. Opposite poles attract because their magnetic fields complement each other and they form one smooth loop. But when you bring two north poles or two south poles together, their similar fields push against each other, like two crowds trying to walk into each other. Every electron has an internal property or orientation, which gives it a tiny magnetic field. In most materials, these orientations are paired and cancel out each other's effects. In materials with magnetic tendency, there are millions of free electrons and when exposed to a strong external magnetic field, these tiny magnetic fields line up and amplify. Thus, a magnet is made. We use magnets every day. In speakers, phones, credit cards, and even electric motors. Japan is even considering to operate a train service which runs on magnetic forces. So next time you see a magnet stick to your fridge, remember, tiny atomic spins are aligned.